Hi guys, and welcome to Alex Terror's World of Warcraft series. As you can see, the pre-cataclysm cataclysm update has been released, and we're looking at the new login page, uh, complete with Deathwing perched on top of uh, Stormwind's front gate. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and have a look at the new gnome starting area today. That's right, the gnomes finally have their own area. They've uh, kind of retaken or at least are dwelling in and around Gnomerga now. Uh, for those of you that have been playing in the last couple months, Operation Gnomergon was a partial success. Uh, so we'll log in here and have a look at it. Alright guys, welcome back and we will create a new gnome and we'll use a gnome priest because that's one of their new uh, combinations here. Let's give myself a random look. Um, yeah, he looks fine. Get a good name for him. You might notice a theme, a bunch of Trevs. Yeah. Alright. So, log in. There's new login or loading pages as well for just about every area, which is really cool. And it loads not too badly. Given the recent political upheaval in Ironforge, the gnomes have suddenly found themselves unwelcomed guests within the city. Leveraging their ingenious technologies and unquenchable spirit for adventure, the gnomes have begun to reevaluate their role within Cosmodon. Under the inventive leadership of high tinker Gelbin Mechatork, the gnomes now plan a daring campaign against the barbarous Trogs to retake their former capital of Nomregon. With the odds stacked against them, the gnomes are counting on brave heroes such as you to stand and be counted. Your people's greatest hour draws near. Okay. So there we have it. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, wanted to make sure it was still recording. Video settings went a little crazy. I'm actually recording on uh, my laptop, so hopefully uh, quality and everything is fine. So you start off, and you're inside Nomerion. Uh This is roughly where I think TechBot used to be. Um, and as you can see, you're irradiated, so there's a risk of becoming a leper gnome. Um, I don't know if you actually can become a leper gnome, but I'm not going to stick around and find out. Uh, they want me to kill six leper gnomes. I think I can manage that. As you see, a ton of people are in here. Everyone wants to look at the new content. So, that's a priest. I have my whopping one ability. We can just spam smite until everything is dead. One of the things that they have done is they made these starting areas super easy. Uh, and the mana and health regen is so fast that you can do these areas with them. Uh, I'm not even bothering to pick things up. I have some characters on this server, so I will be able to uh, transfer money, bags, and stuff as needed. I don't have heirlooms on this server, but it kind of give an uh, interesting take just being able to level without the heirlooms for, uh, for once. So, we've killed our leper gnomes, and let's see it. 
uh, this is where, uh, if I remember correctly from Operation Omergoth, that that bomb went off right there. Uh, and where uh, the, I can't remember his name, but the boss from Omergoth uh, forced us all back when he detonated that big radiation bomb. Salutations! Right, so, Seeing you. it's turned in. And I have to go report to you have a great the day next. Now. No, they also added mailboxes uh, at the starting areas. I'll pick up my Mr. Joe. So if you do have air loops, you no longer have to go to the second area to get them. You can pick them up right away, which is long overdue, I think. So, and. You want me to go save six survivors. Right. So I have to use this little beacon thing on them. It just teleports them out. Apparently there's a... Uh, oh, that guy's got a little hat. He doesn't look so bad. He could have walked out himself. Big baby. Yeah, that guy's not doing so well. I don't think I'll make it. Here, survivors. I think that guy's going for him. Massive out there. Oh. Pump goes faster than me. That's one of the things. Once you when you start playing in one of these new areas, right as it comes out, it's very crowded. Uh, sorry about the noise, guys. I'm just getting messages here in the background. We'll just ignore those. Apparently, I'm popular. <laughs> no, it's like just my work messaging me. All right. Mmm, interesting. Daylight. Another two. Draw to the light. There's so many gnome priests. So many. Oh, he's got a Pandaren. So as with all the starting areas too, guys, all of the mobs are passive and won't attack unless you attack them. That's Blizzard's kind of new MO. They want the starting areas to be very user friendly. Can I help you? And I guess I have to go get decontaminated. No, you have to actually get in these little fan robots. Um, I missed that the first time I came here. So now we're gonna get zapped. Washed. You gotta love me because only a gnome can come across this. And I got new clothes. And my ride exploded. Salutations! Be seeing you. Hmm, interesting. So talk to Torben Zapblast. He teleported. You have a great day now. Good day to you. Now you Very can well, take the elevator up and walk, but this is way faster. Can I help you? Off and away. And go meet my trainer. Daylight this guy burning. will walk you over there and give you a little tour, but you can see it on the map, so he walks really slow too. So we'll just run over here and meet Doc. Need assistance? And now we have to go talk to the king. He's no longer camped out in Ironforge, the gnomes have left, and he is now in his in his war outfit. Take a good look at him. Hmm. He looks pretty serious. It looks like he might need to lay off the donuts, but he looks like he's got things under control. <laughs> I just love to tinker. Alright, so I just have to watch this thing and learn about 
the event that happened, Operation Overgun. We assembled a mighty force and defeated Thermoplug. That's that guy's name. Plenty of time to disarm the device. Hinkles, hand me that worrying bronze gizmo and some fresh spring water. Cockspin, in two different spots. Dirty trog cloth and a handful of copper bolts. Emergency. Yeah, they gotta originally get out of here. they set the Lock bomb for 10 minutes back, and quickly. the king was all happy he was going to disarm it, but then he just set it to 10 seconds and it exploded and we had to run away. Oh, we were forced to retreat. Thermaplug continues to hide behind the radiation, sending his crony Crush Cog to harass us here on the surface. Well, that's no good. Why, hello there. How can I help you? We assembled a mighty force Speak and defeated Thermoplug's so -so servants, in fighting our way into the city. But the usurper Thermoplug right. had one last trick up his sleeve. So these are all new quests, guys. Uh, and a lot of the old quests are gone. Uh, that's part of the changes hey. that came in with this patch. Uh, seven spirit parts. And they're just on the ground. Off and away! All right. Oh. Auto loot. Much better. It's two. Yeah, he's right. They are all over the place. So I think they're really trying to speed up the very, you know, the initial starting areas because, you know, I played through uh, the Drene starting area the other day and it took 37 minutes or something. So I mean, it seems like they're you know, trying to speed them up. So hopefully this will be about the same. All right, so we got our parts. Greetings. Put together a bot and he wants to clean up toxic geysers at the air field. And you just use this little robot. burning. Where are they? Oh, another quest opened up. This guy. Salutations! Possessions from the sludges. Alright. And right. he's down here. So, as you can see, there's a lot more radiation outside of uh, Nomergon. Uh